Alright guys, day two into our uh, shelving project. Um, it's raining outside, as you guys can see. So I can't really do any uh, cutting with the miter saw. Because I don't want to cut inside a garage and have it all the dust go everywhere. Um, so the fence is finished over the weekend. Um, the bad thing about the fence is uh, I'm making a, a separate video about that is they bust through a uh, Asian line um, so I'm trying to fight with those um, the good thing is there's three extra pieces of uh, 2 by 4 by 16 but they're a little bit longer than 16 and lo and behold that just happened to be 16 feet, a little bit over from that corner to uh, that corner right there. So I'll show you guys here. All, all I gotta do is cut off a little bit from there. It'll save me uh, a little bit of money and some effort. So you guys can see here, I just mock it up. And since I'm by myself, I drill into the wall these uh, blocks. Helps helps me um, hold that big ass piece of 2x4 up um, that's the only one that I'm, I'm going to be able to do um, I ha I'm having a buddy come over tomorrow to help me put the one on the ceiling up and um, yeah and finish the project tomorrow hopefully the weather is a little bit nicer tomorrow but we'll see all right, so the uh, sound quality is pretty crappy with the uh, GoPro in the case, so I'm just gonna voice over. Pretty much finished putting up the um, support beam right there. Um, then find out that uh, there is no stud or joist where I marked it because the uh, cheap stud finder that I have was wrong. So, I had to f move it out a couple inches. So right now, instead of using the um, 16 feet long um, 2x4, I'm just going to do two of the uh, 8 feet. Uh, I don't want too much, um, I guess, weight up there. Not weight, but uh, it's, it'll be easier for me just to put it up there. to we fucked up well I fucked up the measure so uh fix everything so we're just gonna mount the vertical post back on remember guys measure twice cut once
Alright, so for this part, I'm going to screw down the plywood to the horizontal, horizontal support beams. This also gave me an opportunity to test out the strength of the shelf. Um, to be honest though, this was pretty sketchy. You know, I was scared shitless when I was up there. This is how the uh, final result looks. I'm pretty happy with it. And uh, massive thanks to my uh, buddy John Dodge for helping me out. So these metal shelves, which I'm going to compare my shelves to, cost $180 for a 4x8 section. So it would be $360 for a um, 4x16 setup and it's all it only costed me $72 and you know some beers for my friend so at the end of the day you know the experience and this cost saving is definitely worth it